Hello traders, good Wednesday to everyone. Victor with you here from the forexbot.com with another trade idea for today. And before we start, I would like to remind you as always that all the information is in this video is for educational purpose only and should never be considered as a financial advice. In today's idea, we have New Zealand versus Canadian dollar. You might say we already had that idea, but yeah, we did. But this is another idea not related actually to the previous one. And it's actually a short term view. But as a rule, uh, if you remember, we are going first back to our ideas that we had and then we'll start with the New Zealand Canadian dollar. Now, the oldest idea actually was New Zealand Canadian dollar, where we expect uh, this move from here still up. Now, there is another opportunity and we still expect this price to be rich. So uh, at least stop loss at break even could be uh, quite good. Now, New Zealand. Japanese yen, we can see that it's actually moving towards the target and it's actually Japanese yen that is strong rather than New Zealand dollar being uh, weak and uh, I still expect this target to be reached and I think it, we can go much lower because uh, most Japanese pairs looking pretty weak. Now Canadian Japanese yen we reached the target and we continued moving down and as I said we can expect a really really strong move towards one of the Fibonacci support levels with the final target being at 66, 30, uh, 25. So yeah, we can see that it's kind of starting to accelerate and uh, we can actually, <clears throat> sorry, we can actually see this strong uh, downtrend going on. Although uh, there is no idea on this uh, and I will come uh, finish the topic. We'll continue that topic, although our target has been reached to remind you pound also target reached but I still think it will be strong although there is no idea just updating you here on this uh, currency pair. Euro GBP we still have this idea uh, valid which is potential downtrend towards the 88.6 FIBS so this idea is still running. Uh, we can see that price actually started to move lower although it's still above the uh, this massive support level uh, this is a long term guys uh, opportunity, which means that we can still expect quite a bit of range trading prior to the price moving down. But yeah, are uh, still expecting this downtrend to continue. Also, we had a Swiss franc Japanese yen, another Japanese yen currency pair. Uh, you can see it's actually starting to move down and yeah, it could be also, this is a weekly chart, guys. You can see how, how strong was the weekly uh, candle. Uh, and it's working out pretty good, as we can see. Let me move to another chart. Okay, here is our chart. The idea we had was um, around this price area. So yeah, the, this was where we were talking about this key support, which has been broken. This is the idea of Monday. Uh, you can actually view it once again. Uh, this is the previous idea before this one. And we reached this target and broke it immediately. This confirms very bearish uh, case for the uh, Swiss franc Japanese yen and also on other Japanese yen currency pairs. But we don't have ideas uh, on the Japanese yen uh, pairs anymore. Just uh, again following up on this entire picture with the Japanese yen. Now for today we have New Zealand Canadian dollar. And it also looks interesting because what we see this massive range trading has been going going on. Uh, it's actually has been going on from uh, beginning of April and there was no big move here. Although we can see higher highs are being printed, higher lows and higher highs, which is clearly a pattern of the uptrend. And we can also see that uh, both moving averages, 200 period, exponential and simple, were rejected there were spikes although price failed to close below so here was rejected uh, and then we had clean bounce here and here of 200 exponential and then 200 simple very clean bounces in this area and this makes a, this a key support at 84.23 this is actually where we entered um, the long position here it was the initial idea of the New Zealand cat the, the very first one. So here we have another idea. 
while we see this new high high printed, there seems to be another opportunity which can result 227.2 target. This is a short term idea, guys. It's 100 pips uh, target. It's not like a long term. But we have applied this FIBS uh, to the corrective wave down after breaking the both moving averages. And the nearest target here is at 127.2, which is another 100 pips move. Now, if I go to one hour chart, we can see that the downtrend trend line broken. And we can see also a 61.8% FIBS clean bounce. The FIBS I apply to this wave up. We can see here is a clean bounce of FIPS at this stage was a clean one spike below produced although failed to close lower again a very bullish uh, picture on New Zealand Canadian dollar this remains a very strong support level although we still can expect some spikes down um, in in the short term but already it looks very bullish we can see that the moving average is being rejected one two three four times uh, because this spike has never been broken and this one as well this is all a being a rejection we broke above the trend line right there so the price is actually near this level where it broke and closed above on the one hour chart on the four hour chart we have the same picture price did break and close above which is also very bullish now we had this correction uh which i think is providing a good opportunity for those who decide to buy New Zealand versus Canadian dollar. And finally, we have the target uh, from the four hour chart 127.2, but here we have applied another Fibonacci retracement level to this correction. And now we have 161.8, which also corresponds to this price area, uh, which is between uh, 086.35 and 086.33 which makes it a key key level for this kind of move and i think it will be pretty short lasted uh impulsive wave to the upside not like we expect on the euro pound which could take some weeks even but this is a short term same as a swiss franc uh, we expected this really fast uh, move to the downside and it actually happened it was fast and same probably for new zealand canadian dollar Let's see how it goes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to smash your like button and subscribe to see more great trade ideas. Thank you guys. It was Victor with you here from the Forex board. Have a great week and profitable trading to you.